everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video, and this one is going to be on my Adam Cole. This is my card. Um, I've built him to 5-star bronze maxed, and I want to show you guys <clears throat> just how hard he can hit. <clears throat> so, right of the screen is my trainer setup, left is my strap setup, and I'm just going to show you the moveset I like to use with him. There are other movesets, other ways to play him, but this is how I play him. Um, so real quick, uh, let me show you the strap and this is kind of a big component to it is getting a ton of, uh, gem damage. Um, this is a, I believe it's a 10%, uh, gem damage boost that I have on that. And I have double fury and then every metal I have also stacks yellow gem damage. You can see here, this one has 5.25%. This one has 6.73, this one has 7.98, and then this is the 30%. Um, I would like to get a tier 5 one of the equivalent of this, um, because the tier 5s go, I, I want to say it's like 40-some uh, 40, 40 percent on this specific color. Uh, but the, so that could improve. Otherwise, that's about as good as he's going to get as far as gem damage goes. Um, heavy machinery plate, I think, is key for him. Uh, whenever you break three or more yellow gems, you get three green MP at the end of your turn. It gives him more outs, so he doesn't just need a green match. A green or a yellow match uh, will get you rocking and rolling. This build is set up to go boom on turn two. I have a total of 103%, almost 104 uh, yellow gem damage. So keep that in mind. Um, and let's get in here. I'm going to do uh, one or two against Vader, and then I'll do a couple against a fully strapped opponent. Um, so you guys can see that as well. I do have tour perks, uh, plus two and plus one on a match. Um, so with a green match or a yellow because of the plate, he is ready turn two. Um, so I don't have a green, but I do have a yellow. So this move goes every turn, so I wouldn't want to be turn one anyway, because this will buff my yellow gems. So starting out, they're worth 9,300. And we're going to hit this, and that's going to go up. Now they're at 18k. I do have a row break. I'm not going to take it. I want to save yellow gems, and I'm not really worried about the... Um, hit points on Vader. So you can see because of the heavy machinery plate that charged my greens, now we're going to hit the boost again. So again, they're up at 18k. We're going to hit that one more time and they should end up right around 27,000. 27,156. Uh, this move, you choose two rows to make into reinforced gems. Um, it's going to be this one. And this one, since they both have three, I will be able to make both rows completely yellow. Maybe shouldn't have done that because this could mess it up with the yellow in the middle here. Um, so that might have actually been a misplay on my part. Because that can sometimes mess up how these fall. And I have one extra gem to convert into yellow. So let's just put that... Uh here. See, it did make me miss a yellow gem because of that, but I got a cascade anyway, and Vader's hit points are completely melted. So, um, yeah, that's the setup. You're looking for a turn two boom. You can see that it's going to hit like seven, eight hundred K against an unstrapped opponent. Um, and this is 5-star bronze. I'll do strapped now, so you can see a against a strapped opponent. It is turn 2, but it is quite the turn 2. Um, Adam Cole is way better than a lot of people think. Um, and this, I think, effectively shows that. I do have a green match right there. So again, we're buffing the move.
That's a pretty decent setup. I think with two two and two I'll be one short of making the all the um, yellow. So Piper's got a strap on, so instead of 27k, we're only doing 21k. And we are going to end up one short. Nice cascade that got us some yellow. Critical hit. I and mean, you can see that was like 640k. The uh, only danger is in missing a green or yellow match, then you are not turn two. Um, we'll do the one more and just see, um, see if I get a green match again. And I'm not cherry picking these or anything. I'm just recording these matches all in a row. Um, Adam Cole is a monster on turn two. The uh, the reinforced gems basically you're breaking two rows uh, twice. So that's a lot of yellows. 14 gems, 28 yellow gems at 21k a piece on a strapped opponent. No green match, but we do have the yellow. Again, this is why I love the heavy machinery plate on him. I've heard people say run boss plate and stuff like that. This just makes him super, super consistent. Um, it's really hard to, or at least much harder to miss a match this way. And we have four down here and one um, other places, so uh, we can absolutely break all 10, or all 14 rather. I'm going to take this one with four. And this one right here with one. I like spreading it out. Um, I feel like I get better cascades when the wild cards aren't next to each other. I don't know why. It could just be um, my imagination. But I tend to like spreading them out. This time I didn't hit a Cascade. Still hit for over 600k. So again, uh, Adam Cole, he's got to be a top tier showboat in my opinion. Um, nothing new has really came out other than the heavy machinery plate since he was released. Uh, he's, you just got to set him up right and get him ready to go on turn two. And it is one heck of a turn, too. So I'm interested to know what you guys think. Um, I don't think I really went in depth on the on the trainers I used. They are on the right of my screen. Um, but the Entourage got George Steele uh, for four more green MP. Dolph Ziggler, four more yellows. Booker T for that ninth yellow. And I was just using Ember Moon for a higher chance at green. Uh, you could use green or yellow. Um doesn't really matter so not super hard trainers other than booker t is pretty rare because he was a chase um the rest of them are all pretty simple though the big thing is stacking that yellow gem damage and fury um damage as much as you can um for adam cole so um yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments really interested to hear what uh what people think uh if you're surprised at how hard he can hit and um yeah i think he's a he's a definitely a top tier showboat and a contender on anyone's roster to go to five star silver um he will eventually get there on mine i'm just extremely um oh what's the word i'm looking for uh my talent ups i don't like going over on at all so i'm extremely disciplined on them because uh, I don't want to waste any talent up points, otherwise he'd already be 5-star silver. He's just a button click away. 
Um, but yeah, Adam Cole's awesome. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Super interested to hear him. Uh, other than that, remember to like, subscribe, and share, as that helps me out. So I'd appreciate that. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there.